Okay, welcome into a Sunday sermon. As you may or may not know, every Sunday we it's a sermon. You know, we got we have our, our scripture. Our scripture comes from Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. As fact, in fact, let me put my well, I gotta put my other glasses on because I'll be reading, so I need the reading glasses. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, this is the um what can I say? Okay, this is the original cover for the original book, the book being the United Independent uh, Compensatory Co-System Concept, uh, a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action for victims, if you're not a victim of this, right, of racism, which is white supremacy. It's by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Now, just to, I think it says it right here. Um, this, was for, this was produced between uh, 1957, in other words, the, the, the research, the, the work, the initial writings, through 1980, 1957 to 1980, you do the math. Um, it was copyrighted by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. in 1969, okay? Um, the re revised uh, uh, edition copyright with Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. was born, was born, was done in 1972, right? Revised edition copyright Mr. Neely, Jr., Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. was in 19, this is what it says here, 74, right? And that was a good year for me. Um, revised copyright, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. was in 1976. Then, then there's the revised edition copyright, uh, which is 1984. So the 1980, in fact, the 1984 book, I, I actually have in Africa. It's a, it's a big, it's this, it's, it's this book, but it's bigger. It's a, it has a big format. Right. In fact, I took it to Africa because, in fact, um, because the uh, this book actually belongs to uh, my brother James Kanye. And uh, well, it's a long story, but he gifted me that original book, right? And uh, I I order these books all over the place. I leave it places. So I I got him this, and and and, and I got him this book. <laughs> it's a uh, it's not an even trade because the original book is, I guess, it's a bigger format. What I did is I took it down to South Africa. And I bound it in a, I bound, I got, had it bound by uh, what's called Lovedale Press. Lovedale Press, for those you may or may not know, was the press for, uh, for the, uh, basically the, the ANC or the, or the anti-apartheid movement in South Africa. That was the main press they had that, that, that pressed all, all of the, I guess the, the, the ruling problems, they subversive, whatever, all, all materials uh, that they use for, for, for their, you know, for, for the liberation. And so, and then it has official, like, Love Dale Press. I think I signed it, whatever it is. There's a, there's a, somewhere on here, maybe an, an under, uh, what do they call it, interviews. There was a thing where I went, where I showed the whole thing. Anyway, it's, it's there someplace. Um, so we're reading out this every Sunday, every Sunday. We uh, read out of, this is our scripture, our being, well, Black Americans with lineage. Well, I shouldn't say that. Uh, it's, it's a scripture for people who are victims of racism, white supremacy. That's what it is. Um, and unlike uh, I, every every morning, I read from the from the uh, the New Testament, the Gullah Bible. But I just read the thing and I just keep on going. Very very talk. But here it's a sermon. Um, so um, what I do is I read and I I I know was when I do the Gullah reading. I just pick it up in the morning, turn to a page, and just read, you know. But here, I sort of do a little not, not research, but I I sort of look around and see what's what's going on for for a topic. So I came, um, as you know, there's nine areas of of, of activity, and the area that I picked uh, this week is on the politics, which is which he calls uh, people. What do you call politics? He calls the politics. Uh, uh, that's law. It calls politics. In fact, let me go here. This is better. Let me go here. Oh, here we go. Here are the areas. In this book, I guess it's broken down like this. Area one is economics. And it goes from page uh, basically 50, uh, 58. Yeah, 58 to 64. Uh, the area, second area, education goes from page... Uh, Let's call it 65 to uh, 80. Uh, area three is entertainment. It goes from 
page 81 to 85. Labor goes from page 86 to 90. Uh, law uh, goes from page 91 to 102. The area that we're, we're dealing with today or we're, we're dip, dipping into is politics. It goes from page 103 to 172. And then politics, it, it defines as uh, people relations. Okay. Um, then it will... It's a lot there. Uh, still a lot there. <laughs> um, area seven is religion. It goes from page uh, 173 to 178. Uh, sex goes from pe page 179 to 204. And the last area, area nine, is war. Counter war goes from pages 205 to 233. Okay. So, all uh, right now I'm at page 117, but uh, I'm going to start reading from page 116. Okay. And it says here, uh, never call anyone a liar. Never say that someone is a liar. Don't say that a person is lying. When a person makes a remark that you know is not true, say that, then, you know, whatever the remark is, is not true. Okay. Reason explanation. He gives a, he, 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 the way this book is laid out, you know, you have the, the, uh, the bold and then he gives the explanation next. So the explanation of this, he says, uh, to call someone a liar is name calling. I have a little note here. I put uh, the dozens, cousin. Name calling like the dozens. Okay. It is incorrect to call anyone by any name and or title except for the name and or title that he or she asked to be called. So if you say I'm Dr. So-and-so, if you say I'm Mr. So-and-so, if you say whatever. Okay. When a person makes a remark, it is best to try to concentrate on the truth or non-truth of the content of the remark. This is very important. Rather than a place, uh, rather than to place a label on the person making the remark. You know, you got the person saying, then you got the person. So you 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 can call up. You know, we not say the dozens because you see with the comedians is a whole other thing. You know, comedians, they, 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 they have the cutting contest. You know, they have those, you know, the dozens, you know, the, the ranking, whatever you want to call it. We used to do it. That's what they do. That's what comedians do. <laughs> um, and, you know, they start off by saying, so like, what kind of shoes are those? Or, you know, what, what, what you wearing? Boom, 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 boom. Or you comment on, you know, you might have a, dis you know, hey, Sloan, you got that, what's that bump on your nose right there? What, what, what is that? Then they go off on that, you see? So, just because someone has a physical appearance, that's one thing, right? But you really want to deal with what they are saying. You see, not how they look. Because, you know, people have prejudice how they look. This is why I like audio. You know, I'm not really a video person. I like audio because, you know, you don't arrest, you, your eyes don't arrest, don't, don't start, how do you say, uh, uh, interpreting things that are not there or that you, uh, opinions, right? But the sound, you just hear what they're saying. The classic example is when they had the debate in uh, 1960. I know, let's be, a lot of people might not know this. But, you know, uh, you had uh, John F. Kennedy against uh, Richard Nixon. And the people that had been, t television was sort of new. So most people heard, a lot of people heard it on the radio. But if you saw it on TV, John Kennedy won the thing. Because, you know, he's clean shaven, you know, young, whatever. And, you know, tricky dick with the nose and whatever, you know, all the jaws and whatever. Like so... Physic on the radio, Nixon sounds better, right? But on the TV, JFK won, you see? So that's that's the difference there. Okay, now we go to the next thing. Uh, I know, that's that's all I have from there. Okay, now I want to move on uh, move on to another portion of this. I oh, here it is. Now here's where I want to get to what we're, we're, we're the crux of what we're doing today, Okay. And then uh, again, under politics, this is page uh, 121 of the uh, original book that was republished, the republished original book. Well, this is actually a copy of the written, anyway, it's a different format. So I don't know if the, it, well, nobody has the big, the big, 
the bigger book. Not nobody. Some people have it, but most people can get this. by, by Actually, you just uh, check out uh, ProduceJustice.com and you can get the books, right? There's this, there's this book. Uh, then there's a revised edition, which is a uh, 2016 revised edition, along with the Word Guide. The Word Guide um, uh, it was, I forgot what year it is. Anyway, for so the Word Guide. So there's basically three books, but only two volumes, really. Okay, so this page, I'm going to, again, we have the bold and then you have the explanation. This is going to be a little bit longer. Did I go? Okay, we'll see. No, this is it. Avoid cronyism. Uh, clickism, I guess it's clickism, tribalism, nationalism, clanism, clubism, etc. You know, and the, you know, you have to avoid that. Why? Right? To 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 the extent that uh, such functions interfere with the revelation of truth and or the promotion of justice or correctness. Okay, so in other words, if you label yourself, you know, then everybody's going to, well, you see what, you understand. I guess you understand. Then he has the reasons and explanations, so let him, um, him be Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. The basic duty of every person in the known universe is to find and use truth in such a manner as to promote justice and correctness in, at all times, in all places, in all areas of activity, those nine areas of activity. Therefore, the basic duty of every group of persons, cronies, uh, cliques, uh, clans, clubs, nations, tribes, <laughs> is to do likewise. All right? Uh, meaning to promote justice and correctness. Right? There is no reason to join any group of persons who do not have and show the basic intention of finding truth and using the truth found in such manner as to promote justice and correctness. Now, I, I say, I got to that, I, yeah, let me stop here. So, so you, that's, I hope that's pretty clear to you. But here's what I want to bring out, because there's this cronyism, the tribalism, these different groups like that. I had done... Uh, did I leave the book upstairs? Oh, no. Oh. Hey, I'm going to have to leave you for a while. I got to run upstairs because I did some work. So can you just, maybe I'll put this here like that so you can see the contemporary book there. I guess you can't, whatever. Anyway, I'll be right back. Don't go no place. Well, you can go someplace. I, I, I don't edit. I, these are just raw. I just, I don't, I don't, you know, so... Did I? Yeah, I must have left it up there. Let me up, run up there and get it. I'm in a, I'm in a house, you know. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, hold on. I'm running. I'm running. I'll be right back. I'm quiet. I'm quiet. I'm back. I am back. Hey, you notice a flag? I I have a big I have a bigger flag. I, this is a an artist. Anyway, the, the you know you got the the red and the black stripe, uh, the green black ground for the black for the black stars. That's it. That's cool. Yeah. It's not a takeoff because you know the black liberation flag is red, black, and green. And we know that flag, but uh. I like to vote with this flag because it's like more American. The, the, actually, the Black Liberation Fair is, is Pan-African, you know, and this is specifically what it is. Talk about Pan-Africanism. Oh, boy. Here's we go and get some stuff happening. Okay, so I want to delve into this because there's these groups that seem to, I don't think they, I, well, they, they, I won't say they have beef with each other, but they fight when they talk about each other, blah, 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 blah. And the main ones, is uh, the main groups dealing with this deals with reparations now? Now I'm going to reparations, so I put that. And uh, here's my now. When I have some, um, in the 80s, I was hanging out with Lloyd Strayhorn with numbers, you know, numbers and you, 
And so when I get into a thing, no, I do what I do. But if I get into a thing, I have to analyze something or something is not right, whatever have you. Just as a support, one of the things that feeds into whatever is um, is numbers. So I look at the numbers and see see if it jives. Whatever. Then I can tell about. I'm just it just works for me. I, if you don't deal with numbers, I don't it, it, I don't know if it works for you, right? So the 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 groups I'm dealing with right now is. Um, American Descendants of Slavery, that would be Eidos, uh, Foundational Black Americans, uh, and Encobra. Encobra is, uh, Encobra is a, a acronym, whatever, the, the, the things, an acronym, that's what it's called, right? Big word, I don't deal with uh, whatever. Is, is the, the National Coalition of Blacks for Reparations in America. That's their, that's what Encobra is supposed to mean. Right there's another organization I think I don't know I don't knock or something I, don't, I forget what it was but I I don't know them so I don't deal with them and then the the this is like well these are people supposed to deal directly with reparations, um, so I did the numbers right now if you take American descendants of slavery, on your, and oh sorry numbers work like this it's one through nine so like uh, here's the table right so one would be the numbers a the the letters a j and s. Like, for instance, my name is Anthony John Sloan. So I'm actually 111. It's a three. I'm a three anyway. See how I'm, see what I'm trying to say? It works out. Anyway, as far as my, my initials go. Uh, two is B, K, and, and T. Uh, three is C, L, and U. Uh, four is uh, what, D, M, and V. Uh, five is, um, you can see that. Five is, uh, uh, what is it? The E, N, and W. Six is F, O, and X, Fox. Um, seven is uh, G, P, and Y. Uh, eight is H, Q, and Z. And nine is I and R. That's the table. You see? You got that? Okay, is that easy for you to understand? Okay, that's how the numbers break down because they go from one to nine, okay? Okay, so if you, so all these so safe so American descent slave, I, what I did is I took the and I made the numbers. You no, know, I took the numbers and then I added them up, right? Uh, so American descendants of slavery, they add up to a one one five, all the all the letters, right? And that's a seven. Seven uh, in the pantheon of numbers is 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 a is a spiritual number. You know, it's a, it's a spiritual number like that. Um, now what I what I. I I was rocking. Well, I, I've, I've been following ADOS since the beginning, before the beginning, right? In fact, uh, uh, I guess this will go up on my YouTube, but it'll, um, it'll, there's a playlist. And if you, you can track from when I started with ADOS, because I started when I was in South, well, South Africa. So I have these posts, the history of ADOS, and it all went up to basically uh, last year. Then I sort of, I do, do stuff, stuff, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not really tracking them like that, like I, like I used to for a number of reasons. Okay. So when I did so, it comes up to seven, seven spiritual number. But what I say, I say, I keep their thing. But then when I'm writing it out, you know how you can strike through a thing? I put north, right north, strike, strike north. American descendants of, then I put chattel, strike that slavery. So it's, it's still their organization. For, but for me, you know, because I strike it out, I'm just trying to say an indication. But if I add those, if I add that the north and the chattel, North is north comes up to north comes up to three, right? Chattel comes up to what's that? Six. Is that right? Right. So if I add the uh six and three is nine, right? Uh, uh what oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So if I add that in there, it still adds up to uh, to seven. Yeah, seven. Uh seven. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. See, it still adds up to seven. So I haven't, I haven't altered the, 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 the numerical vibration of the organization when I add those north and chattel. Okay, so it remains the same. So I'm not violating, you know, but I'll say ADOS. Oh, now, if you just do ADOS, just the initials, it adds up to three, right? Now, this is interesting because three, the number for three, that's a, it's the, it's a creative, creative. They're you know with twenty four hour people. I'm a three, so I know this. Um, and also they're they're articulate, very uh, loquacious. You know, I like that. That's that's the the properties of three, right? 
So, so you can think of uh, Eidos as a, uh, well, the, if you do this, the things are whatever. Uh, but the, the organization adds up to a seven. So it's a spiritual thing. So it's, it's a spiritual thing. You understand. I don't want to keep on repeating myself. Now, if I go to the other organization that we deal with, that, that deals with this, with foundational black Americans, they add, it adds up the it adds up to one hundred, which adds up to one. One is one. They you know they one in numbers game. Uh, I look at it. One is like a, a baby nine. Uh, think of it this: you know, you have, you have, you have the papa line and the baby line, and, the, and they they watching the gazelles right, and the and the baby line is jumping. Come on, daddy, let's go get it. Come on, let's go get him. And and, and, the, and the old line is saying, "Calm down, son. Relax." Let's see what happens. We're going to do this. You see, so they they want the same thing, but the the one is more. You know, they want to be one. They want to be the first. Da, 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 da. That's the way it is, right? This is a numbers property. Don't don't don't. Well, y'all can dump if you want. Okay, so that's a that's a one for the foundation of Black Americans. Okay, this other group in Cobra, the the um, what do you call that? The the acronym there, the in Cobra thing, is up. Uh, to an eight. Eight is, is, is number for prosperity. Prosperity doesn't necessarily mean money, but it could be money. Uh, but it's just prosperity, like be prosperous, right? Okay, so just leave that alone for a second. But the the, the but the in Cobra it's supposed it's uh, I just did the internet search. I really not reading their documents. I should, but I'm not really that interested. But they're the national uh, the National Coalition of Blacks for Reparations in America, right? And that adds up to six, see, because it, it, well, it adds up to a six, right? So they're, they're, so it's like this. The COBRA acronym adds up to eight, that's prosperity. ADOS adds up to three, that's um, creative and all the rest of that stuff. Uh, but then if you look at it, the foundation, oh, foundation, but they don't have, uh, do, do they say FBA? Oh, I should have did that. FBA, what is that? Six, two, and one. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine, complete. So Foundation of Black America, that's interesting. They're one for their 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 big name, but well, whatever. But their acronym is is um did I say nine? Which is nine. Wow. That's fascinating. Because not in other words, they're baby one, <laughs> but they're also adult. You, you see? Kind of interesting. And nine is a complete number. And that's like they're supposed to have all the properties. Oh, I should. That's super interesting. I'll let you draw your own conclusions. But remember that the National Coalition for Blacks for Reparations in America is a six. That's an educational number. Good teachers, good, uh, what do you call it, students, right? What's more interesting, and just looking at their mission or whatever have you, they they are they are supposed to uh, look, be informational. In other words, oh man, it's, gonna have to, um, it's on the computer. Uh, but in other words, they are supposed to be researched. They supposed that that's what their mission is. Um, that's they, they, that's what they say, right? Foundational American Black Americans. Well, you know they they do what they do, and 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 and, and Ados does what they do. So that's the numbers, right? But here's the thing. Oh, one more thing. This even though B one B one talks about B one, you know, um, Professor Black Truth. And uh, what's the name? Uh, Black Authority. That's B one. Well, B B is adds up to two, and one is one, so that's a three. Loquacious, you know. And that's not to say people are not doing stuff, but I'm saying their essence is what they is what they are. Now, the reason why I bring that up is because I just don't understand. <laughs> Put my other glasses. On. I just don't understand the problem. Maybe it's because, you know, not only. I was in the, forget the military part. Um, I'm a child of Ogun, right? And that, that means a bunch of things, but you know, Ogun's the warrior, but he's also the um, uh, uh, medicine healer and also the architect, you know, planning architect, right? Now in my own kind of thing, if you want to do it, um, I'm, well, I am a warrior. That's what, and, I, and 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 as far as uh, my lineage, on my maternal side, um, it's uh, my great grandfather uh, was Gullah Geechee, and my great grandmother was Mohawk Indian, right? My father's side, well, 
like a lot of black Americans, my father was a one night stand with my mama. <laughs> and so, and so, but the, the rumor had it, uh, but she didn't remember him because it was one night stand. Plus maybe she, well, anyway, but the rumor conjecture is that he, he was a uh, Garifuna, Garifuna, you know, the people uh, from the Red Town, but they exist in, in, in from Belize down to, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Guatemala, um, Honduras, uh, down to um, what do you call it? Nicaragua? You know, um, down to um, Costa Rica, all the way down those coasts like that. Panama, um, down to even uh, what's the next one? Down Venezuela. Uh, and anyway, those they're fisher, they're basically fishermen, fisher people, except for in Belize, where they're in Belize too. There's a well, they're they're on the coast of Belize too, but there is a, a in uh, there's a thing called Georgetown, and that's one of their things, but they do most farming, so they sort of broke the mold there. But the reason why I bring that up is because on that side, these these these, these are these are the people that uh, that were they were captive, but they were never enslaved. Right? Okay, they were captive. They was in St. Vincent's. There was St. Vincent's. There was this whole thing where you know the the slave ship, you know, dropped the, they, they they saw, but he's getting going place, blah blah blah. But there was the the the, the Arawak Indians were known to be. Well, they were known, right? And so the, the the racism of the ship captain, you know, when they they had to repair the ship, they repaired the ship like that. They let the the captains go someplace, but I guess the captains negotiated with the Arawaks, and uh, they say, hey, blah blah blah. And the Arawaks say, okay, right. So they sort of dug a hole. This is the, this is the legend. I got this from, I got this because each of one of the villages I did a whole thing on from, uh, all, through Belize, all the villages like uh. Um, Belize City, Dangriga, Saint Bite, um, uh, Georgetown, like I said, uh, Punta Gorda, and uh, Barranco. These are, you know, I went to all those places and interviewed people. But interesting, each village, each area has not only have a political, uh, say a mayor, but they all have a historian, and they all said the same thing. So these Arabs and they hid them. They say did a hope. Had hit him in there like that. And so when the captain of the ship or whatever, they're looking for them people and they, they, they had a time thing. They had to get back, whatever have you. They said they figured, well, the Arax just you know, ate them. But I guess the other cargo, they had to get back, get to wherever they were going. So they went and they left them there. And so as time went on, the, 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 these uh, uh, captives, they mingled with the Arax. And then it became like black Arax. It was like black Arax and I guess regular Arax, right? <laughs> And what happened, the French was having a, a beef with England, right? So England went to, and and, 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 the, and the black Arawaks after a while were known as fierce fighters. So the black Arawak, so the England went to a black Arawak and said, hey, we're having this beef with France, you know, can you help us? And the black Arawaks, they say, nah, we're not into that, you know, nah, you, it's your beef, you, you handle it, right? So then the English went to the Arawak Arawaks. Original artworks, and they said, "Hey, we have this people. Hey, can you help us?" Yeah, sure, we'll help you, right? And then when that happened, the French went to the black artworks, say, "Hey, blah 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 blah." And so, so what ends up happening is the black artworks supported the French, and the um, regular artworks supported the English. And well, England beat up on France, so as a whatever they did uh, as a payment, if you want to say, where they they asked the. Um, they asked the Arabs, "What do you want?" And they said, "Hey, get rid of these <laughs> these black guys. They're that hey, they, they, you know, our culture is being altered by this black situation." So they took them, the black and the English took the black Arabs and basically deposited them on rare uh, in in Honduras or for rare ten island. Well, it's it's nothing but rocks. So so basically, they migrated up through Belize and on down through, like I say, Central and South America, but. These, the black Arabs are the fierce fighters. So on both my sides, both my lineage, I'm saying, I'm just, that's what I am. I'm, I'm, I'm built for war. I'm built for, yeah, I'm built for whatever. Plus my last name, Sloan, oh, here it is. Sloan, the, the um, Anglo root of Sloan means warrior. Da -da! I can't get away from it, you know. And, oh, plus I'm a child of Ogun, which means Ogun is the work. See, I'm just surrounded by this stuff like that. But what is okay, fine. So, um, uh, so, so, so that's that. That's what happened. So, so on both sides, I have this thing, this this foundation, whatever it is. But here's the thing. 
So I think in terms of uh, talk about Neely Fuller Jr. Oh. But when he does his program, he does a program every um, every Tuesday, and, and then I I usually down I download it and then I do the set. The Sunday sermons on Sunday evening, you know, this afternoon, now, if afternoon evening, I post it later. But uh, I download the Tuesday program, and when I do my morning walk, which is two to three hours, then what I do is I listen to the the two hour cast from you know Mr. Bobby and, and uh, Miss Neely Fuller Jr. See, it all works out, and then I come to you on on Sunday on Sunday evenings. So here's what I don't understand as a as a as a warrior. You know, thinking warrior. Uh, oh, I should say my my function as a warrior is um, I'm what's called I, I I lean on my American Indian, you know, my Mohawk thing. I'm a scout. Now that's different. I know, I know. In the modern warfare, they would say you're a spy. I'm not a spy. I'm a scout. I go find out stuff. I bring it back to the to you know the encampment, and I say, hey, here's what's going on. I don't care what they do. I did my job. <laughs> I did my job. I'm a scout. Then I say, hey, got to go. Go back out again. You know, think of it like, uh, what's Black Panther? Um, uh, you know, the, the the you know Black Panther's woman, you know, she was telling him doing stuff, stuff like that. And then the other guy, you know, Killmonger, he's telling the same thing, but Killmonger wants to do it his, his way. And, but she's, you know, um, she's uh, saying blah, blah, blah. But she's a scout. Well, I'm saying, she's a, she's a spy scout i'll say spy you know so i'm like her so when i saw a black panther i dealt i, I identified with her not with this other stuff that people are you know, I'm, i don't care about it's not a gender thing it's, it's a function thing see okay i'm sorry I went through all that stuff no, i'm not i just i can't be sorry so when i look at this thing say for instance uh uh and cobra if their thing is information then What's the beef? They give the, they do the information. You don't have to dump on somebody else. That's what goes back to Miss Neely for the junior. You, you don't have to dump dump on. You have to call somebody names or nothing like that. You just do what you need to do, right? Same thing with uh, functional American Americans. You don't have you 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 want to uh, whatever they they're saying. They do what they do, and they they don't really organize the way. Um, ADOS is specifically uh, organizing um, and little things. They're doing, they're more political, organizing politically, right? I guess you would say uh, foundational black Americans are organizing, cult, cult, I don't know, they organize culture, whatever it is. And of course, I'm saying that in Cobra, they're supposed to be informational. So there shouldn't be any beef. In fact, and and, and it, it doesn't serve anybody to call other people names. No, it's almost like everybody gets on their high horse and they start talking about each other, whatever it is, you know? And and they 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 draw sides, you know that cronyism. They draw sides and then they stay on their square. They're not even listening <laughs> to what or figuring out a way. How I'm not saying they have to work. Yeah, I guess they do have to sit down and figure out how how, how to do that, you know. Plus they have different missions. Like in Cobra is into a Pan African, more of a Pan African situation, you know, which is fine, you know, because hey, talk about Pan African. You can't get more Pan. <laughs> African to me. In fact, I go back. I got to go back to Africa in two weeks, whatever it is. You know, I have an African wife. I do work. Um, um, the cats that I work with there, you know, we. Um, I've been working with them for. Gosh, I've been. I've been. Pan I've been in South Africa for uh, since two thousand three. Um, and 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 the, the stuff that I do is to uplift uh, black people all over the planet. Do you see what I'm saying? And so you know, we're doing some. Uh, Doing something, we're doing a lot there. Their uh, uh, farming, like that. We're doing that now. But I, I use what I call my, my discipline, which is audio drama, to organize communities and stuff like that. It doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm saying everybody has their mission, and you should stay on point. That's all. This is simple as that. Just do your thing. You don't have to. If it's like a troop movement, it's like okay, you got special forces. I don't want to call anybody special. So say for instance, I'm, like I said, I'm a scout. Right then, you have special force that do whatever they do. The main army, if you will, they you you see the scouts reporting maybe to scouts reporting to to the main thing. The main people are, are giving the special forces thing, and they got to do some other stuff. You see, like so. Let's call let's call. And I don't want to. I don't want. I don't because I don't. I don't want to get into that label. People what what they should do. But I'm just trying to say there there is no beef. This is one 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 battle, and the, and and if you uh, keep on responding. To um, 
to others, then you're just, you're, it's like responding to a, a, a white supremacist, you know, a racist white supremacist. Uh, what you're doing, you get wrapped up in their thing. You got to you got to keep on responding to their thing. I don't know how that works. It, it ain't going to work, you know? So what you what we need to do is not only ignore white supremacy, I'm not, if you have an organization, you need to not deal with that. If somebody uh, attacks your organization or something like that, there's pe there should be people that deal with that if you want to do it that way. Or you can just say, yeah, we ain't, we, 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 ain't, we ain't got no beef with you. You got a beef with us, but we ain't got no beef with you. We got we got some other stuff to do. I don't want to spend my, uh, like Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. would say, my economy, which is your time, dealing with, dealing with you know, fighting you. I'm spending my time fighting with the, you see? Okay. So look, that's Sunday sermon for this week. Uh, I probably forgot some stuff. But I just wanted to tell you how I think and and how I rectify. How don't get in? I don't get into these beefs and stuff like that. In fact, a lot of times I just I might write a write a comment or something like that. But it's it's not against anything, you see. And I don't call people names either. That's a that's not good. You know, and then this new full genius has been called VGQ, Victims Guaranteed, VGQ, Victims Guaranteed Qualifications. In other words, hey, they said what they said. I ain't got nothing to say. You talk to them what they said. I don't, you know, I don't, you, you see? Anyway, you'll get to it. But look, check out Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. He's, he's, he's on every week. And we like 90, whatever he is, 92. I, he, he old, right? But he's articulate, and I love the way he talks. Oh, I absolutely love the way he talks. He communicates with me. You see, he's like my daddy, right? In fact, I don't follow anybody. When I say follow, I have a, when you give an email from me, he says, I follow no one and I seek no followers. I'm a spy. I'm a, no, well, I'm sorry. I'm a scout. I got to function alone. It's, it's, it's like a, it's like platoon. You know, you, you had the women, uh, is a, um, not Willem Dafoe, yeah, yeah. Um, is it Willem Dafoe? The character that could hang out with the brothers, hang out with the other, all the groups, but then when he went out, he go by himself. But the Tom Berenger character, he had to have his crew, his white supremacist crew, right? But uh, was that William Dafoe? Whoever it was, <laughs> I forgot who it was. <laughs> that, that's that's me. Of course, they killed him because you know, I mean, uh, I mean the white supremacists killed him like that. Anyway. I'm rambling as usual. So let me let you go. This is just, well, me being T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>